the prayer of the Lord Jesus Christ said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. The Father, for the Father is the kingdom and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ, for the meantime, until the end of the thousand-year period of His reign on earth, is called in the Bible as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. But when the end comes, the title King of kings and the Lord of lords will be to the Father, not to the Son anymore. Because even the Son will subject himself under, the, himself under the authority of the Father. So that the title King of Kings and Lord of Lords is finally to the Father. Let us read. In the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 14, 15, and 16, it says, That thou keep his commandment without spot, and rebukable, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall show, show who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, 16. who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. That is the Father. During the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ, according to Paul, when He appears, He in His time shall show who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who only had immortality, the only immortal being in the universe is the Father. The Lord Jesus Christ suffered death. The Father is the only immortal being in the truest sense of the word immortal. Dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. And that is the Father. For, the, for, to, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. It speaks of the Father. The Father is always exalted above everybody else in the universe. And even beyond the universe. The Father is higher than the Son and the Holy Spirit. So the doctrine of Trinity of the Catholic Church is erroneous. 
There is no verse in the Bible that will sustain that belief that they are perfectly equal to each other. There is no verse like that. That the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are perfectly equal to each other. No. The Lord Jesus Christ said in the Bible that my Father is greater than me. My Father is greater than I. The one who is sent cannot be greater than the one that sent him. And the Lord Jesus Christ was sent by the Father. I hope you understand that answer, sister. Thank you very much, Brother Ellie. Um, 